Hey guys, I got some more news on Wendy Williams and I've done a couple of videos on Wendy to today. She's been really out there in the spotlight lately guys. Um, some good and nothing really terribly bad. So we love Wendy and some good is good enough. Everything on this video is alleged. This video is being made for informational educational and entertainment purposes through the fair use act no copyright infringement is intended okay guys well wendy seems to have an issue going on but wendy is a strong girl and so far nothing has really taken her completely down the wrong road terribly but it's like if it ain't one thing it's another now, an article in the Sun is saying that Wendy needs to pay off a $3 million loan on her New York City apartment, and she's been cut off from her $10 million show salary. So I'm sure that that's something that's probably laying heavy on her mind. And guys, I did a video earlier saying that Wendy was selling off things in her apartment. And I wondered then, and I said on the video that I wondered what was going on because I knew something had to been going on. So apparently, and I'm not saying that this is why she's selling off, but she has this $3 million loan hanging over her head. And she may be just trying to liquidate herself some quick cash to be able to stay above water. Now, the article in the U.S. Sun reads, loan grown wendy williams must pay off three million dollar loan on a 4.5 million dollar new york city apartment despite being completely cut off from a 10 million dollar show salary wendy williams the u.s sun says can exclusively reveal that wendy's stunning duplex is costing the unemployed former tv star over twenty thousand dollars a month between her mortgage payment, her maintenance, and the New York City property taxes. Well, New York City, $20,000, that sounds like um, nothing that surprises anybody. Okay. The mortgage is held with Wells Fargo, which is the same bank that first petitioned a judge to place the 58-year-old star in a financial conservatorship back in February 2022. Wendy was ultimately placed under a permanent financial guardianship stewarded by Sabrina Morrissey in May of 2022, as the U.S. Sun has exclusively reported. The star closed on the 24,000 square foot apartment in June of 2021. The abode includes three bedrooms, three bathrooms, high ceilings, granite countertops, and a spacious balcony and that sounds like what if i was wendy and had an apartment in new york i would want every bit of it the luxury condo also has access to a gym an indoor pool a game room spa movie theater sauna and steam room and you know what that's a beautiful thing for twenty thousand dollars a month in new york city so really got uh, Wendy really got a um, good deal on that there that you have access to all of this and it's twenty thousand dollars a month. You go Wendy, and we hoping that she keep it. Whatever she needs to do to keep it, we don't want to see her lose nothing else. She's lost a lot. Yes, yeah, she has lost a lot. She has lost too much, and I'm sure that the pressure of what's already gone on is still holding on to her. And to have this come it's not going to make it any easier guys but you know you're saying like i said if it ain't one thing is another all the time now as the u.s sun previously reported wendy was cut off from her estimated 10 million dollar a year salary just one month into what would be an entire season absent from her eponymous eponymous talk show which began in no, September of 2021. In court papers for 
dispute over alimony payments with her ex-husband, Kevin Hunter, the TV host attorney filed that Wendy had not had income from the Wendy Williams show since October of 2021. On October the 15th, 2021, plaintiff was informed by Talk WW that her contract was being suspended and that no compensation shall accrue or be payable to plaintiff for the duration of plaintiff's disability or incapacity. incapacity. Wendy's attorney wrote at the time. Wendy was reportedly making $55,000 an episode for the Wendy Williams show. That's a wonderful thing because you know what? The Wendy Williams show came on every day. And some people don't make that a year. But anyway, as the Sun first exclusively reported, Wells Fargo froze her accounts in January of 2022 over concerns that Wendy was of unsound mind and the bank suspected financial exploitation, dementia, or undue influence. Wendy spent two months in Malibu, California, rehab treating severe alcoholism, multiple sources alleged. The host, who had previously claimed she was sober, had a number of public incidents involving alcohol before she checked into rehab for severe alcoholism in August. Alcohol has been a real struggle for her over the past several years. She is battling severe alcohol abuse mixed with serious health issues, one insider close to the star claimed about her rehab stay. She was being treated for extreme alcohol abuse. She has had numerous of doctors who have told her for years, if you drink, you'll die. She never really wanted to stop, and the people around her in New York allowed her to keep drinking. And those are the ones that needs to be pushed. She needs to get them out of her life. Wendy was absent for the entirety of her financial season of the Wendy Williams Show as she battled a myriad of health issues, including Graves' disease, lymphedema, and substance abuse. Her longtime production company, Deb Mar Mercury, announced that her show was officially canceled and that Wendy's time slot would be going to her former guest host, Sherry Shepard. Wendy had no clear income coming in and she has not had a full control over her bank accounts since early in the year of 2022. And we know, guys, that it has been some struggles because we know that the husband, Kevin Hunter, has been to court several times trying to get the person who's guardian over her finances to issue his alimony payment because he claimed that he was broke, that he needed hip surgery, and that he owed dues for the homeowners association where he lived and that he couldn't make his payments to his, for his home, and that he's about to lose his home. And that her only son, Kevin Jr., actually ended up in court as well due to an eviction of the apartment that Wendy had rented for him when he was in Florida going to college. So guys, there's been some struggles for Wendy's, and this is um, not something that I want to see happen because I don't want anything to push her back over the edge. She's come really far. And the last thing we need is for her to have something happen and she be set back. But on the video that I did prior where she was selling the things out of her penthouse, and you can go back and look at that. When she was selling things out of her penthouse, she had a big bright smile on her face. She looked happy. She looked content. And I guess hopefully someone has taught her to roll with the punches. And she's a New York girl, so I'm sure that she know how to roll with the punch. And she's going to be just fine. And the only thing that I have to say, my last and final, you know, statement for her is, Wendy, baby girl, this too shall pass. So you hang in there. We here for you, and we support you, and we love you. Thanks for coming, guys. You know I got much love for you all as well, my supporters, my subscribers. I thank you for being there. 
and for listening. You're great listeners. And what I want you all to do, if you're new to the channel and you're not yet subscribed, go on and subscribe for me. I'm trying to make my way up to 2,000, and I had a lot of people that support me to get me to the 1,000, so now I'm working on going to 2. So guys, if you are new to the channel, go ahead on and hit that subscribe button for me. And also, if you want the updates and I put them out pretty regular, tap on the notification bell. Like the video and share it because I'm told that when you like the video, that's what pushes it up in rank. And I always want to hear what's on your mind, guys. I want to hear your thoughts. I want to know how you feel. I want you to tell me how much you love Wendy and if you miss her and you want to see her back. And we want to see her back ready. So leave me a comment in the comment section, guys. And again, I can only say that I have much love for you. Thank you all for coming. Smooches to you, baby. And I'll see you on the next video.